Hey, it's the footy coach here. Lupu, Nida, number six, Caicedo, Andre, Lavia, all were earmarked as the dominant number six that Liverpool supposedly needed. Fans have been saying this too, yet Klopp has insisted since the start of the season that Alexis McAllister and Wataru Endo are good enough, are they? McAllister put in an amazing performance yesterday as Liverpool beat Bournemouth 4-0. Whilst Liverpool were flaccid in the first half, he was the standout player. Look at these stats, these are incredible. Not a single Liverpool player has come close to these stats in over 8 years in a game. I've said in previous videos that I believe he's one of the best sixes in the league. Here's a comparison from earlier in the season before his injury up against the other top number sixes in the league. If you're a Liverpool team that is looking to dominate the ball, then you need a number six that is exceptional on the ball, world class on the ball. That's what McAllister is and that's why for me he's a head of Endo. I think Endo is a very good player and even his passing can be incisive but McAllister, a showen against Bournemouth, is a level above. He plays on the half turn. I think fans are very fixated on when Lupu lose the ball and players are running back towards goal. He's not the quickest but any team can get caught out on transitional situations. As a top team, your idea is to control the ball so you buy players based on that. Rodri, Fabinho, Busquets, Makaleli. These are just some of the top sixes from over the past decade or so and they were all great on the ball. McAllister is younger than Trent Alexander-Arnold. He's never played as a single six before. He played in a double pivot at Brighton but he's learning and he's learning really fast. One of his best qualities, him being able to play on the half turn, means that he helps Liverpool draw the opposition press in and to allow them to break through. He's a pressure release valve for this team. During the game you could even hear Van Dijk shouting at Alisson to pass to Maka. I looked at McAllister. He was marked but the pass still went to him. He passed it out to Gomez first time and they broke the press. It was easy to see in the Bournemouth game because his performance was such a standout, especially in that first half. But I noted this earlier in the season as well. Away to Man City in the first half, he created so many situations for breakthroughs that unfortunately Curtis Jones wasted that day. He wasn't just breaking up play, he was dictating play. This is another weapon in build up for Liverpool, so it's not just Trent who can be creative in that team. Yesterday, after probably being back up to speed post injury, he was flying into duels, but but this as the stats showed before was something he's done all season even against Arsenal in the FA Cup first half he was notably the only Liverpool midfielder actually getting involved heavily off the ball he's strong as hell and he's really tenacious it's exactly what you need from a player there his Argentine squad members thought he was their second best player at the World Cup maybe Caicedo and Enzo look like a hundred million pound players because they were playing next to this 35 million pound footballer well here's what Jurgen Klopp himself thinks he's an incredibly smart player. As long as you can create a compact situation, Maka is an outstanding six. On the ball, better than any six. He's so calm on the ball. He is a really good player. Now this is just a short video on this and you know there's a lot more I could have gone into in the game yesterday especially you know Liverpool's arch nemesis Paul Tierney again making really bad decisions. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did please do like and subscribe and as always thank you for watching.